Today, guys, we are talking about a Schrixen golf ball that I had never heard of. So we're talking about the UltiSoft, a two-piece golf ball that is designed for moderate speeds. So maybe that's not the right golf ball for me, but it's not only me testing it today. We're going to have myself, we're going to have Dave. We're going to see if this golf ball can be versatile and can do things for different level golfers. So guys, we are using this Schrixen golf ball that I've never heard of. Again, a similar colour into the AD333 golf ball. A good alignment aid on the edge, but like we mentioned there, this is designed for moderate swing speeds. It's a low compression golf ball, so perfect for somebody who maybe doesn't have as much speed. If you're somebody who doesn't have much speed, just like Dave, who's laughing behind the camera, then it's perfect. It might still get you that extra distance. It's gonna get that energy into the golf ball to still get you getting your drives out there, still hitting shorter irons into the green, but also it says giving you the control. But that's one big thing that I always question. These golf balls that say they obviously feel soft, but go far, but then are great around the greens how can it do all of those things for the price these are coming in at just around about 22 pounds so let's put it to the test again a soft feeling golf ball let's see how it flies again we should be expecting two piece cover here to launch maybe a little bit higher than normal but now a good strike there a solid strike nice and low launching running out there it's a little bit wet out here today we are getting into winter it will be placing but interesting there didn't just pop up off the club but what will it do for dave so guys you'll see here the feel is the softest ball which is very interesting when there is obviously the soft feel golf ball on the range from shrixen again distance long flight mid to high which i've proved wrong certainly there construction two piece and green side spin mid and driver spin low so saying everything that it's going to do for us there so it should be a mid to high flight Dave hopefully will prove us right here, but again, Dave is normally going to hit a low flight, but let's see what he feels. Well, how does the ball feel to him? Because obviously feel off the face is a massive thing when choosing a golf ball. Well, we've got the mid to high flight, Dave. Oh, I'm happy with that flight, Chris. Happy with the flight? Feel off the face, Dave? Did it feel it, soft? It did. It did feel a bit soft, which is unusual, because I can't normally feel any difference with balls off the face. But Yeah, and you've yeah. normally used the AD333, yeah. haven't you? Yeah, How I have, yeah. compares to that? Uh, it feels softer than that. So Awful name, but it feels softer than that. Awful name, that seems to be the general consensus. But let's get down there, guys. Let's hit some irons. Let's see what we can do with that. And then let's talk durability. So guys, when we're talking, obviously, golf balls that are a little bit cheap and we're talking two-piece golf ball, the biggest thing that we start to worry about is durability. Are they going to last as long? And that's what we're going to test today. We're going to play a couple of holes. Dave's going to hit quite a few shots with these, even around the greens, and see, do they scuff up with wedges? Do they scuff up? Has it scuffed up there with hitting a firewood off the tee? That's what we want to see because, but £22, not a bad price for a dozen. We know that you can get two dozen Kirklands for that but we know that that's not always the right golf ball for you you might need something that launches a little bit higher has a different cover has a different construction and that's what we're trying to show here with Dave but I certainly like the feel of the golf ball it'd be interesting to see how it reacts into the green can you control the spin or is it just going to run out so Dave you're going to clean and place this but you said you're going to hit a hybrid here yeah we'll give it a try so you've just switched over to the 11 hybrids recently and Again, reason for that, Dave, was to get some more launch than your irons, wasn't it? Yeah, I've really enjoyed the Tacoma irons, um, but I think for me, the more uh, a summer iron or a, a summer club, and the um, the hybrids, I get more high and a bit more carry, whereas um, with the irons, they're probably going further. The four iron probably goes just a little bit further or the similar sort of distance, but it's a lower flight. Lower flight and doesn't carry as far. So. Yeah. Perfect, so it'll be interesting obviously here with this golf ball to see obviously how it launches. So, are you going four hybrid? You read my mind, Chris. Four hybrid, look at the man of the head covers. <laughs> right, let's see how this goes then. Man of the head covers, I'm sure we'll get some comments on head covers, Chris, they always do. If anyone wants to get Dave, Dave's big birthday yesterday, if anyone wants to send him some new iron head covers, feel free. Should have should have brought the 60 degree out, shouldn't I? The big 6-0 for Dave. He had a great day out in Leeds. It certainly was. Not right. watching football, although they did win yesterday. We did, yeah. So even a slip there, Dave. Yeah, yeah, back foot slipped a little bit. I should have That's stood. a nice mid-flight there. Yeah, should have studs on Strike it. wise again off the face, feels good. Yeah, it feels absolutely bob-on. I wouldn't expect any better strike from a 
a top premium quality ball. Yeah, and you can't really tell the difference. And that's one big thing we talk about, isn't it, Dave? That yeah. you don't always tell the difference, but to the eye, looks a good flight. Yeah, it's, as you know, Chris, a slightly higher flight is, is better for me anyway, because um, I do want it a bit too low at times, don't I? Yeah, right. Well, I'm going to try now and see how high I can hit this See if I can reach the green. I'm going to clean this and then start to see how high I can get this. Again, I hit five wood off the tee and it launched low. Let's see now, can I get this to launch a little bit higher? And this is, for me, when choosing a golf ball, it's about, obviously, how versatile is that golf ball? Can I get it to go high? Can I get it to go low? Because we're not always going to be playing in the same conditions. Sometimes we might be playing in the wind and want it to go low. Let's see if I can get this nice and high. Yes is the answer. Yes is the answer. Turning over a little bit, just up the left-hand side there. Hopefully we should find that. But you can see that I did get that to launch higher, probably four times the height. So the golf ball will launch. It still looks like it's gone a good distance. So for me so far, a great golf ball. But I'm just struggling to see where this golf ball fits into the range. We've got the soft feel. We've got the AD333, which is obviously a very popular golf ball. So where does this one fit in? Obviously swing speed wise, it all depends on that. Yes, for someone like Dave, it's certainly helping him with distance. It's helping him get a better flight. So it could be perfect for someone around that 80 to 90 mile an hour maximum club head speed, which is perfect. But for myself, I'm still being able to use it and still being able to do what I want. So again, it now comes down to, is it as durable as a urethane cover? So a rarity here for Dave, obviously we've been in the fairway off the tee on this hole and he's now in the middle stripe. So leaving himself around about 140, which for Dave, Will be a 7-9, so it'll be very interesting to see now, obviously, into the green, how it reacts. Unfortunately, I eyeballed it a little bit wrong. I did say 140, but Dave's corrected me. It's 139 to the flag from his golf ball, so... Yeah, call yourself a caddy. Again, 7-9, Dave? Yep. Yep. Okay, so let's see how this lands into the green. So, really, for Dave, we've been looking for a golf ball for him to get the right height and the right control. Not only, obviously, with fly, but with distance as well, haven't we, Dave? Chris, we've been looking for everything for me. Yeah. We've been trying to find a driver for four years, but yeah, we have been looking for a golf ball that actually suits my flight, which is kind of difficult. Yeah, and you'll see a lot of reviews on three-piece golf balls and urethane golf balls that are cheaper, but if you have a slower swing speed, that may not be the optimum ball for you, and that's where, obviously with the Kirkland, we know that yes, it's a cheap golf ball, a pound a ball, but again, it might not be giving you the best flight and the best consistency to lower your scores. And that's a fantastic flight from there, Dave. Dave is ripping it today. And that's landed in the middle of the green and probably gone pin high. So, interesting. I didn't spin up, Dave, but you wouldn't expect that. But that was a great flight. It was absolutely fantastic, Chris. Dave's absolutely chuffed with that. I, I will zoom in to show you that before we go we and search for my golf ball. You don't often ball. hit um, par fives in three with a U, do I? No, not very often, Dave. Progress is real. <laughs> okay, so five wood here, a little bit left of the green, but again, distance wise, would have got me on the front edge. Wasn't a perfect strike, but still got me there, even with that high trajectory. So, we're going to chip it now, and this is one big area that you need to make sure you test when you're doing golf balls to see how it reacts and feels around the green. So, we know when we've got a two piece construction and we've not got a urethane cover, the tendency for it is to pop up a little bit higher. So, you certainly want to test it around the green, even more so than with your driver and with other irons because we need to know that you can get up and down when we do miss a green, which is uh, what most golfers do, including myself. See, that's flighted pretty well. I tried to play a mid-trajectory flight, and that's come out exactly decent. as I wanted it to. Even Dave's happy with that. He's giving me a decent. So, not too bad there. We'll put these out, and we'll get on to the next. So, Dave, where's it landed? Okay, so just there. Sort of slightly short and middle. Slightly short of middle and ran out probably 10 yards there. Yeah. So exactly what David would expect from any kind of golf ball. He's not relying on spin, just short of pin eye, but left himself a good chance. He's left himself around about 30 feet there. Looks like a lost dog. Right, Dave. <coughs> so again, tour averages from here. We'd be expected to two put. So for Dave, we're not expecting to hold it, but he's giving himself a good chance of getting out of this hole with a par. And don't forget, it was off the white tees, par five, and he's hit a five wood. For hybrid and, and I get a shot. Seven iron and he gets a shot. Although a two piece ball, 
it's still done the job without having to use his driver off the tee, then hit a five wood. He's been able to get enough distance, enough control with a shot to walk out off here with a par. Five for four. Right, yeah, so one big thing like I showed you on the tee is it has got a fantastic alignment aid on here. So for lining the golf ball up to help you get a little bit more consistent on your start line, you can use this on the tee, but also with putting to give that a good roll. Oh, there. that was for the half as well. Unfortunately, a fantastic roll, a little bit of a misread. But it's a par for me, not a bad score, just a poor putt. So guys, durability of these golf balls. Again, this is what you start to think when you're obviously going to a golf ball that's a little bit cheaper and not a Euro theme cover. Again, holding up quite well. It's not obviously the only hole that I've played with this golf ball. I did play a couple of holes at Woolley Park on James Robinson's video yesterday. So. Very interesting there that it is holding up nicely and that's what you would expect. You don't want to spend £22, get a dozen golf balls and them not be very good because yes, they are half price of a Pro V1, but if a Pro V1 is going to last double the amount of time, does it just work out the same? You might as well get Pro V1s. But I've got a six iron here into this par three. So again, I'm going to try and fly this one in low. So I'm going to try and control this six iron in. Let's see what we can do. And that's a good fly. I've tried to control that down. Yes, I've leaked it a little bit right, but distance-wise, middle of the green, flight-wise, exactly as I would expect if I was using a Pro V1. Again, to me, the feel of the golf ball, yes, it is soft, but it doesn't feel overly soft. I wouldn't say I could get a golf ball that feels too soft, but it feels good. So David just informed me, he's just found a little bit of a scuff on his golf ball. He's saying this must have been from me yesterday because he struck his perfect, but scuffing up a little bit. Again, we hit a couple of shots with this yesterday, but Overall, it's standing up pretty well, except for that one mark, so I wouldn't say that's bad at all. From a couple of golf holes, we can start to see any golf ball will start to mark up. So 170 yards to this flag, so Dave's coming in with his four hybrid. I am. So we know he's ripped one on the last hole with this, so confident with that club. So let's see what ball flight he gets. A little bit of a lower flight, he did slip on the fairway with this. So I did, I should have worn my studs today instead of just these. But I brought his studs. Right. It's getting into winter, Chris, I'm afraid so. It certainly is. So, let's see how Dave launches this one. Will it come off a little bit higher? More importantly, is he consistent with distance? A little Ooh. bit higher, Dave. Yeah. A bit Leaking a little as bit well. right like mine. Oh, and that pitch just before the bunker. Tried to jump over it, but caught Not the Not the usual so. look, Chris. We're going to hit that one out of the bunker, Dave, when we get down there, because we're going to see how, obviously, the durability is out of there. Not a bad strike, Dave, but I would say that, obviously, just leaks a little bit right. Yeah. Um, well, I don't think it was the best strike, actually, but hey. Yeah, and ball, all right, then, interesting enough, because it would have still got to the front edge. Yeah, it would, yeah. So, you happy with that? Um, I don't well, mind it out of bunkers, you know me. Well, you are a bit of a wizard. <laughs> In the bunker, Dave's going to have a practice swing here. So, it did try and jump over. It landed right, well, it pitched right into the top of that, but rolled back. So, a bit unlucky, Chris, really. It was a little bit unlucky, Dave, in some ways. <laughs> not be a, not a great strike. So, let's have a look. That's a fantastic shot, oh. from Dave. As we come to expect, can he finish with two pars on two holes? Let's have a look here. So, obviously, I flighted one in with a six iron carry wise. Let's see, there's a couple of pitch marks that need doing this morning. But pitch there, and it's ran out probably five yards. So more than I would expect maybe from a premium golf ball, from a urethane cover, but still playable. If I was able to know that that's exactly what it's going to do, I can play for that. And obviously I did try and fight that one down. But it's left myself a putt, just a longer putt. Again, guys, when you're testing these golf balls, it's always great to get them on the putting green as well and start to see if you can control your pace with them because we don't want something that feels like you've got to hit it too hard. But for me, as we know, great alignment aid. Hopefully a better read than on the last. A good chance. Good pace there, just passed. Left myself a little bit of work to do. But Dave's got that for a par. Have you lined this one up? I've tried to. I'm, I've got it moving left to right. Moving left to right. Slightly. It's good. I like the alignment on it, Chris. Yeah, nice and thick. Very clear, isn't it? Yeah. Just Might not have to um, 
jaw out on these. Yeah. No calling in for days. Yeah. Okay, don't go right to left. Well done. Yeah, very clear line, which is which is good for every level of golf. It's certainly gonna help you line it up. Dave, four or four. Not bad from the bunker there, Dave. No, no. So guys, the switch and ulti soft again. A fantastic golf ball that not many have heard from. We can see that it's just starting to scuff up there, but perform well, you can do everything with it. Durability, that's probably scuffing up a little bit too quickly for my liking. Again, at 22 pound a dozen, there's other golf balls out there two-piece construction but certainly think if you're somebody with a slower swing speed you need to think about your golf ball something's going to help you launch it better and maximize your distance so you can keep lowering that handicap